When you think of long-serving team principals, it's probably Toto Wolff and Christian Horner that come to mind. But there is another man who's been a servant of his team for over a decade, Franz Tost. At 67 years old, Alpha Tauri's team principal has decided it's time for him to take a well-deserved step back from the team. Today, we're going to fill you in on his departure, his replacement, and what it means for the Alpha Tauri team. So don't go anywhere. Franz Tost will be replaced at the end of this season as team principal of Red Bull's Alpha Tauri team by Ferrari Sporting Director Laurent Mekis. Peter Bayer, previously F1 Executive Director and Secretary General for Motorsport at governing body the FIA, will become the team's chief executive. Tost will remain as a consultant until the end of the 2024 season. Tost's F1 career has spanned more than two decades, dating back to 2000 when he joined Williams. He made the leap to Toro Rosso in 2005 and stayed at the helm ever since, working with some of the biggest names in F1, including four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel, two-time world champion Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, Pierre Gasly and Carlos Sainz. He's one of the sport's longest-standing team principals. He may not have worked at a top team, but he's played a massive role in the formative years of some of the best drivers to race in the sport in the last 15 years. Don't let his position at AlphaTauri fool you, he is a top quality team principal. Tost is F1's second longest serving team principal after Red Bull's Christian Horner. The team was set up with the idea of being a proving ground for the potential future Red Bull drivers, and despite being the only true B team on the grid, have won two races, the 2008 and 2020 Italian Grand Prix, with Sebastian Vettel and Pierre Gasly. Tost, a former racing driver himself, said it was time for him to hand over his day-to-day -day role at the team. It has been a true privilege to lead the team for such a long period and a great pleasure to work with so many motivated and skilled people who share my passion for Formula One, Tost said. At 67 years old, it's time to hand over, and with Peter as new CEO and Lauren as team principal, we found two very professional people who will bring the team to the next level. We'll come on to the new guy stepping into Franz's shoes shortly, but first I want to talk about the circumstances of his retirement. Yes, 67 is an excellent age to retire, and considering the money he's been making and the demands of being a team principal, he can enjoy a thoroughly well-earned retirement. But he may have stayed on longer if things at Red Bull weren't changing. The death of Dietrich Mateschitz, the owner of the Red Bull brand and both of the Formula 1 teams, will have affected Alpha Tauri just as much as it did Red Bull. Helmut Marko has said a few times recently that how the team works behind the scenes in regards to reporting lines to board members and investors has changed a lot since Mateschitz passed away. Marco has spoken about things being more formal. He lost the flexibility he had in his role, and Franz Tost could be experiencing the exact same thing. The situation inside the team could also have affected his decision. Alpha Tauri as a team are struggling to be competitive. In the past, they've always been competing at the bottom of the midfield, fighting to finish races in 7th to 10th place. That has changed since the new technical regulations came in in 2022. They struggled last year, finishing ninth in the Constructors' Championship with only four points finishes in the last 14 races. This season, things look even worse, and they could be in a straight fight with Williams to not finish dead last. Tost has aired his frustration with the team to the media already this year. He said back in Saudi Arabia that he doesn't trust his engineers. The engineers tell me we make some good progress, but I don't trust them anymore, he said. I just want to see the lap time because this is the only thing that counts. A combination of age, the change in structure higher up in the team, and a downturn in form has made this the perfect time for him to leave. He isn't giving up in the face of a challenge though, he's earned his retirement in his years of service for the team. So who's going to be asked to turn the team around and make them into the exciting stop for future Red Bull champions they once were? As I said at the start of the video, it's going to be a combination of two people. Ferrari Sporting Director Laurent Mekis will become team principal and former F1 executive and secretary general for motorsport at the FIA, Peter Bayer, will become the team's chief executive. Frenchman Mekis joined Ferrari in 2018 from a role as a deputy racing director at the FIA, which he joined from Toro Rosso in 2014. Austrian Bayer was a long-serving executive at the FIA who lost his role in June 2022, six months after Mohamed Ben Salehem became the president. Bayer led the inquiry into the mistakes made at the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix when race director Michael Massey failed to implement the rules correctly during a late safety car period, leading to the World Championship changing hands from Lewis Hamilton to Verstappen. In the announcement, Mekis said he would like to pay tribute to Franz for the great job he has done over almost two decades in charge at Faenza. 
I wish him well for the future, and I know that both Peter and I will rely on his input and advice in times to come, he added. Looking forward, I'm honoured to take on the role of team principal and to return to the team where I spent a large portion of my early career. Scuderia Alpha Tauri has all of the ingredients necessary for greater success in the future, and in tandem with Peter, I'm looking forward to making that happen. Mekis will have a hell of a job on his hands trying to turn around Alpha Tauri's season. The team has struggled to grasp the new rules, and despite a promising start in 2022, they've struggled to improve the car. Red Bull could have easily sold the second team, which, according to Helmut Marko, cost more to run than the main team. In fact, they recently turned down an offer of $800 million for the team, so clearly they think there is profit to be made and value to having a second team. Red Bull know they can sell the team at any time, so the pressure will be on Mekis to perform. He's going to have some big boots to fill, though, because Franz Tost has one hell of a reputation. The Minardi team he took over only scored points at one race in the previous season, and that was at the 2005 United States Grand Prix, where 14 of the 20 cars didn't actually start the race in a protest against Michelin, whose tyres were unsafe to race on. In fact, in the 21 seasons in Formula 1, they only scored points on 21 occasions, an average of just one points finish a season. They were beyond awful. They were hopeless. It would have been easy for Toss to have shrugged his shoulders and accepted the ex-Minardi team was forever doomed to be a minnow. After all, its brief was to exist as a training ground for Red Bull's driver stable, and it was always going to be Mattershit's second team. But that's never been Toss' way of doing things, something he would prove time and again while captaining the team. He gave everything to his job. He was brutally honest to the point of offence at times. He demanded everything from his employees, but importantly, he got the job done. When he says he'd be happy for there to be a Grand Prix every weekend amid concerns about F1's expanding calendar and the resulting workload, he was only half joking. As Red Bull's second team, it would have been easy to sit back and relax. No one ever expected anything of them. But he instilled the energy of the team's spirit animal into everyone he worked with. Alpha Tauri were bullish, with him at the helm. They were strong, hardworking, and most importantly, didn't care that they were the B team. You can see that mentality in the drivers he's coached through the team as well. There's a reason that Red Bull drivers often have a reputation for being fiery. Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen, two world championship drivers known for their on-track aggression, learn the ways of Formula 1 from Tost himself. Mekis isn't just taking over a team, he's taking on the role as mentor to Red Bull's future champions. He has to revitalize Alpha Tauri, get them out of this rut and back into the midfield. Is he up to the task? While the people at the top of Alpha Tauri certainly think so. The changes at Alpha Tauri have been masterminded by Oliver Mintzlaff, Red Bull's chief executive of corporate projects and investments. He was given the role of overseeing the soft drink giant's involvement in major international sports following the death of co owner Dietrich Mateschitz last October. Of the new appointments, Mintzlaff said, Both Peter Bayer and Laurent Mekis have huge experience in top positions in Formula One and together, I'm sure they'll take Scuderia Alpha Tauri to even greater heights in the future. Let's hope he's right. What do you think of Franz Tost's record in Formula 1? Will Peter Bayer and Laurent Mekis be able to turn the team around? Let us know your opinion in the comments down below, and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.